Javelin Manufacturing EEPROM Programmers Using the classic chip EEPROM programming features For all models, 1, 2, 3, and 4 Let's start by selecting model to program a model material chip Next we'll select ABS as our model material type For the fill size we will select 999 custom to set a custom fill amount we're going to set our fill amount to 74 cubic inches by selecting 0, then 7, then 4. Our initial size will be a standard Fortis cartridge, 92.3 cubic inch. And for our machine type we will choose Fortis for AT class machine. Classic EE from right dialog. We start with a question mark. We hope to end with a smile. Once we select right. The classic EEPROM write dialog will load. After loading we are presented with instructions. The chip shown is a classic chip with the notch in the center. The insertion orientation is notched towards the device. The question mark indicates the programmer does not yet have a chip to program. We can now insert as many chips as we like, sequentially, to program each one. The programmer will provide feedback. Each time we insert a chip, we will see the message, detected, then writing, then success. Now let's insert and program a second chip. And now let's insert and program a third chip. Classic write mode does not work with plus chips. If we insert the chip incorrectly or attempt to program a plus chip, the programmer will give us a failure notice. Once we are done programming chips, we exit write mode. To do this we simply press the thumbstick on the programmer. This brings us back to the main menu. Now we will read the chips we just wrote. Selecting read from the main menu will load the chip reading program. Once we see the insert EEPROM message, we can insert our chip. The programmer will detect the chip, then read the chip. The chip status dialog shows us that this is an ABS chip, programmed to a 92.3 cubic inch roll size, with 74 cubic inch remaining, leaving our chip 80% full. From the chip read dialog, we can refill the chip, exit to the main menu, or read another chip. Let's read one more chip. This one is programmed the same as the last. 74 cubic inch remaining, of 92.3 cubic inch. Now we will refill a chip. We're going to remove the current chip. Insert a different one. Select, read another, to read the chip. Once again the programmer will detect the chip, then read the chip. Then show us the current chip status. From here we will select, refill, to refill the chip. We'll see detected writing while the programmer writes the chip, then detected reading as the programmer reads the refilled chip, followed by our chip status. The chip is now 100% full, with a new serial number. Now we can remove the chip and it is ready to be used in a printer. Next let's look at auto refill mode. Auto refill mode allows you to insert classic chips and reload them to 100% full without user interaction. The chips can be from any machine type, of any material, with any roll size. The programmer will figure out what the chip is, and refill it. First we'll insert and read one of the chips we programmed earlier. We can see on the chip status dialog that this chip is 80% full. Now we'll put the programmer into auto refill mode by selecting auto refill mode from the main menu. Once the auto refill program has loaded we will insert the chip we just read. The programmer will detect, read, then refill the chip. Now we will remove the chip and press the thumbstick on the programmer to exit auto refill mode. We will verify the chip is refilled by going into read mode to read the chip and see its new status. Once the read program loads, 
we'll reinsert the chip. After detecting and reading the chip, the chip status dialog shows us that the chip is now refilled to 100%. When you have multiple printer types, such as Dimension and Fortis, it is best to leave your programmer in auto-refill mode during the workday, so that chips can be refilled continuously without user interaction. In the next video we will walk through programming plus chips using models 3 and 4.